This video is out of Nevada, where two speeding drivers are ticketed in one stop. Two drivers operating two different pickup trucks are traveling together on a rural Nevada highway. The first driver was stopped for speeding and the second driver decided to stop on the side of the road behind the Nevada Highway Patrolman to wait for his buddy. Because he placed himself in the scene, things don't work out that well for him either. I put the original video link in the description. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. I'm with him. We're together. Just do your job. I'm with him. What? I'm good right here. Are you pulling me over or both of us? <laughs> I'm fine right here. You're not pulling me over, right? Are you pulling me over? Why? 75 miles an hour. No, we're not. I got my cruise on. You're on camera too. Okay. So. Driver's license and registration, please. <laughs> you're lying. But you're pulling him over, right? You and him both. You just told me you were pulling him over, so. Yeah. Well, he was going 87. You were going 85. No, so I got my cruise on. I tell you to. I got my cruise on. Give me your driver's license and your registration and insurance. Well, you got to give me a minute for the registration, but here's my license. And you realize that, how, how can you see my speed when he's right in front of me? You're following him. So yeah. here's what I did. I hit my front radar uh -huh. on him. He was going 87. As soon as he passed, it went to 85 on you. I'd never stop the radar. Uh -huh. That's the way it is. Do you have a, a printout of that? Now, or when I... Right from the beginning, this driver is in violation of stopping on the side of the road for a reason other than being broken down, per NRS 484B.440. The driver lets his ego get in the way of not knowing Nevada revised statute. NRS 484B.100 gives Nevada peace officers authority to control traffic while enforcing traffic laws. Furthermore, the driver confesses to speeding by stating he is following his buddy who was speeding, supporting the officer's probable cause. This all makes perfect sense. The speed limit in this area is 75, and he set his cruise control at 10 over, and his buddy was at 87. Now, or when I make a traffic stop, that? if you don't do as I say by pulling to the front of him, as you by say, being behind is that me, lawful? I'm trying to do, I'm trying to make is that sure a lawful I have, order? Yeah, it is, because it's that? officer safety. You're obstructing officer my traffic stop. Officer safety is not a law. So, I want you to pull to the front officer of him so that you're not, not behind me. Quote me the so code So that I can that. make sure that I... Can you quote me the law, the law for that? The code? I'm not going to pull you the law for that. Then there, there is, is no a law for that. Order. It is a lawful order. There's got to be a code for it. There has to be a code for it. For officer safety, there is no code. I don't care. Just like there's no code why, for public why, safety. Why is it What's that the you problem? won't do what I tell you to? I'm with him, okay? It's not safe for me to just pull up ahead I, when, yeah, I don't when exactly go to the I'm front of people's already pulled because over. Because if you had a gun or something like that, you could always... <laughs> what are you so scared of? What do you mean, what am I scared of? That's the way we, we maintain you, you our officer You think everybody's safety. out to get you? That is the way we maintain our Why do you guys always safety. think... I don't know who you are. I don't know where you're coming from. Your officer safety issue is ridiculous. You what? realize that? You guys have, like, one you're of the least, because least dangerous cooperate. jobs. You just won't cooperate. I don't have to cooperate because you didn't pull me over. You pulled hey, him over. Where's your registration and insurance? A work truck, so you're gonna bear with me here. I don't know why you gotta get so mad about it. Cause really, it's just I'm with him. We're on a road trip delivering these two trucks. So, what's the problem with me just sitting back back here waiting for you to do what's your the job? Problem with me asking you to pull to the front with him. It's not. It's really. It's not safe for me to do you that. Just don't want to do it. When I'm already pulled so. over. That's just that's the issue. You just don't no, want to do it. No, because it's ridiculous. 
There's no reason for it. When I'm already pulled over. You're I mean, mad because you're you you that pulled scared? Over because I pulled your friend over. No, That's you're mad you're because you got to be. You you think you need to be scared when you're the I'm one with the guns. I'm not scared. That is how we maintain our officer's safety. If I if I do all my traffic stops in every different way possible. Officer safety is officer officer cowardice. Is it officer cowardice? Yes, it is. No. Have because you ever been you trained as a police officer? My job is more dangerous you than your been, job. Is it? Yes, I Why climb towers. I don't even towers. know who you are or what you do. So I climb cell I towers. Even verify that. So now we see one of the narratives used to discredit the law enforcement profession as not dangerous work. In 2021, 129 police officers were killed in the line of duty. That's approximately one every two and a half days, which means every day there's at least one police department in this country wearing a black band over their badges. At the making of this video, also in Nevada, Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Officer Treong Tai was killed by suspect gunfire on October 13th, 2022. It's a ridiculous argument. My job is more dangerous than your job because I climb cell towers. I won't argue that battling gravity is dangerous, but calling this trooper a coward for safety protocol would be the same as calling the driver a coward for wearing a safety harness while climbing a cell tower. However, officers do heavily rely on the officer safety reason for many of the actions that they perform. Quite frankly, the majority of the public doesn't care about officer safety. Officers should defer to the law, which in many cases protects officers and the public, like NRS 44B.100 which gives officers authority to control traffic and drivers. And yes, that includes controlling people's movements, making them move their cars where the officer needs them to be. And we'll see this officer move the stop to a safer location. Can you verify that. Are you, Where's are your you, registration and insurance? I don't know, you're gonna have to give me some time. It's a work truck, so. It's not my personal truck. Registration. There's a insurance. Stand by. Quote me the code. I don't know the code off the top of my head. Then there is no law. You can't tell me to pull ahead. I'm on a public road. But I bet you he's just gonna give us either, well, he might give me a ticket. But he'd probably give it. These guys are playing games. Is your body cam rolling? Body camera is on. Okay, what's your badge number and your name? I give that all to I you need on it a from card. You. No, I'm you can you it. can verbalize it. I'm gonna give it to it's you. It's the law. You, you're supposed to verbalize it. I'm gonna give it. Can I'm you verbally give you, identify All I have to do yourself. is provide it to you. That's verbally. All I have to do. Verbally. I'm gonna explain your citation Someone to you. Someone that has vision problems. Your violation. Is the you have vision why. problems. Anybody that has vision pr vision problems is the reason why you're supposed to verbally identify. Do you have vision problems? It doesn't matter if I do or not. Okay. It's for anybody. Well, I don't know about that. You know that. Anyway, I'm gonna give you this. Your violation is there. That's your total. What's the, the violation? Justice Court. Your violation is for speed. Oh, We're going what? 85 and a 70. Oh. And they give you a violation citation for okay, what's your 80 name? and a 70. What's your, your name and badge number? you right down here. What's your name and badge and number? Badge number. Are right you going to fail to identify? I'm not going to fail to identify. So identify. I'm providing you the information Identify, to please. 
verbally. Now the Wells Justice Court, the phone number's right there. And verbally I gave identify, this phone, please. I gave it till this date. Otherwise, you're not a cop. Citation. If you don't verbally identify, you're I'm not a cop. I gave your options and your instructions on how to pay out a contest, mm -hmm. whatever you choose. My Who, information who's is your down supervising here. officer? Huh? Who's your supervisor? My information is down here. I'm providing that information to who's you. Who's your There's supervisor? Your Have a safe day. Yeah. The driver still made a last ditch effort to try and control the officer with directives of identifying and supervisor information, etc. We won't know if the trooper intended for the second driver to be stopped for a ticket or was indicating for him to pull in front of his buddy or leave the area. It's clear the second driver had also violated the NRS, but I believe if the driver had kept going and waited for his buddy at another turnout down the road, he may have not been ticketed. Instead, he placed himself in a traffic stop and also got ticketed for speeding. The trooper kept both drivers safe and performed the intended enforcement. Good job to him. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far and are not a subscriber, consider subscribing. Hit the bell icon and be notified when I have new videos. And let me know your thoughts in the comments section below.